Well, today, the country will stop and remember after the 9-11 terror attacks. Today marks 18 years since those attacks, and there will be memorials at New York, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. Here's a live look in New York this morning. In Manhattan, there will be a moment of silence at the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. The moments of silence will mark when the Twin Towers were hit and when the towers collapsed. In Virginia, President Trump is expected to speak at a memorial ceremony after the names of the victims are read. And in Pennsylvania, Vice President Pence will deliver remarks at the Flight 93 National Memorial. All right, here in East Tennessee, firefighters and emergency responders will pay tribute to the lives lost with a memorial stair climb in downtown Knoxville. WBIR 10 News reporter Yvonne Thomas joins us live from World's Fair Park ahead of that event. Good morning, Yvonne. Abby Russell, good morning. Preparations are already underway. Crews have been setting up all morning long, just getting ready for the a number of people, the first responders that will be here, more than 200 this year for this memorial stairwalk. To talk to us a little bit more about that, we have Paul Trumpour with us this morning, chaplain with the Knoxville Fire Department. Kind of talk to us a little bit about just what we're seeing today, but especially your friend that you have wearing on your shirt right now. Well, uh, we got some good, thing, good things coming. We have a lot of folks coming this morning, uh, 206 registered right now. There will probably be a bunch more that will show up to register on site. That's good. Father Michael Judge was chaplain for the uh, City of New York Fire Department. Uh, I knew him from some chaplain's conferences that we had attended together. Um, I know the fellow that took his place as well. So some good people. Um, hate to have that have, have happened to him. He was the first one that died up there. Uh, major crisis. He was very concerned for his people. And talk to us a little bit about what you were seeing in Knoxville during that time 18 years ago. Well, one of the, the things, especially with children, uh, you know, wondering when, when is it going to be our turn to have a plane drive into our building? Oh, that breaks your heart when you hear those words. Um, you know, so we had, to, we had to rebuild a semblance of safety again. And, and of course, Homeland Security, the whole division came out of that and, and trying to make sure that, that we could uh, make sure we had a, a safe country again. So a lot of watching, a lot of unfortunately mistrust, and uh, that made it very difficult uh, for a lot of folks. And um, you know, I, I can remember uh, my my dad, for instance, passed away a year before that, and uh, and my mom saying, "I'm I'm glad dad didn't have to see this." And uh, you know, very trying time for our whole country. 18 years later, we're still recovering, but a lot of great things have come since then. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. But for now, we'll send things back over inside of the studio to Heather Walliga. Heather, good morning.